algebra. It might seem daunting at first, but actually, it's very mindful. It's very demure. It's very slay. Now, when you start learning maths, you start computing problems like this. Three times quattro, which we all know is 12, hopefully. Now, what do we do in algebra? We start introducing letters. Letters that we call variables, which represent numbers which are variable, which can change. Here, we would say three times x, for example. We most of the time like to use x to represent an unknown. Now, this looks quite strange, right? We don't like to use the multiplication symbol when dealing with algebra. Instead, we say 3x. And actually, this statement is a lot more versatile because this is specific to 3 times 4 when x is 4. How about if I wanted to do 5? I would have x is 5 and it would change to 3 times 5. So x is an unknown which can change depending on the situation. Why aren't you following me? Do it. Algebra also allows us to solve specific problems. For example, going back to the original, 3 times 4 is 12. You might regularly see something like this, 3x equals 12. So in this problem, the question is asking us, 3 times what is 12? And we know the answer is 4. But algebraically, this problem can change. If I change that 12 to 15, my x value changes to 5. And this is what's called about algebra. So now it's your go. What does the value of x need to be here? You know 2x means 2 times a number, plus 1 is 15. Let me know in the comments section. Nice. <laughs>